Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to load, display, and save an image. First thing you need to do is get yourself an image. I've got one here, it's called bridge.jpg, and I've got it in my current folder, the same folder where I have the script, my .m file, that I'm working on. The command to load the image is going to be imread, which stands for image read, and the only argument here will be the name of your file. And I have that here as a string input. When you run that, it'll read the image and then save it to a variable, which I've called img. And then to display that image, you're going to use the imshow command and put img as your argument. We can run this and we'll see that here's my image. There's the bridge, but I need to rotate this because it's clearly in the wrong orientation. So what I'll do is simply add a rotate command. I am rotate, tell the image that I want to rotate, and then the number of degrees that I want to rotate it. And I need to save this back to my IMG. So I'm overwriting the IMG variable here. If I run this, well, it flipped the wrong way. I can do negative 90 here, or I can do 270 degrees to go all the way around. Here we go. Now I have a nice image. If you'd like to dock this figure, go ahead and click Control, Shift, and D, and it'll dock into your MATLAB IDE. You still have your workspace and your editor and everything else. You can click and drag this around to move it to different places of your IDE as you'd like. Sometimes this is nice to have an image if you're going to be working on it over and over. It's nice to dock it so you can see your changes as they happen. Note in the workspace what our file is, right? How does MATLAB store images? You can see here we have a 640 by 480 by 3 uint8, and this will be different on your system. This is a matrix. It's a matrix of values, and those values store RGB numbers. So an image, these color images especially, will have a red channel, a blue channel, and a green channel, and those come together to make the colors that we see. That's why we have the third dimension here, and it's three. So we have an R, a G, and a B by three. And then the image size is 640 by 480 pixels. Just to show you really quick here, if I did IMG111 and just run this in the command window, we'll get an answer out and it's a numerical value, a uint8. uint8 is simply an unsigned integer that has eight bits. Don't worry about this too much. Just know that we have numerical values in here. I can check other ones and do the 200th and the 400th and then let's say the second RGB channel and I get another just number out. Last thing I want to show you guys is how to save these images. Now that I rotated this image, I'll probably want to save it. And to do that, you'll use the I am right command, image right. You'll pass the image variable that you want to save and then provide the new name that you want to save the file as. So here I'm going to write image to bridge2.jpg. If we run that, I still have my image pop up, but if I look here on the left in the current folder, I now have a bridge2 that has been created. That's all for the basics here. Stay tuned for more. I'm going to be posting a lot more image processing videos. I hope you check them out. Have a great day.